in this video we will see the steps of uh, designing a hash table so there are two important components when we are designing a hash table the first component and the most important is choosing a good hash function and the second component is collision resolution now let's see each of these components one by one so the first component is the hash function and this is the most critical step in designing a hash table so uh, what the hash function does is it takes a key and it returns a bucket id so uh, for a good hash function the expectation is that it should distribute the keys uniformly in different buckets it should not be that uh, one bucket is having uh, a large number of keys and the other buckets are empty or have very small number of keys so the data will be unbalanced and searching will be time consuming so this is the most critical uh, step and uh, also it's an open problem to uh, design a good hash function there is no perfect hash function that will suit all the huge cases and all the requirements so uh, the hash function itself will depend on multiple factors one of the important factors is the type of data that you get because ultimately you need some bucket id so which is some integral uh, value but the key cannot be integral in all the cases sometimes it may be integral sometimes it may be a string or some complex uh, object so for example let's say uh, we have an integer key then we can simply use modulo as a hash function and b is the number of buckets so modulo b will return 0 to b minus 1 that is b values but if the key is not uh, integer for example it's a string then it will be made up of uh, different characters and we know that uh, characters we can represent it as their sky value so uh, we can take the sky value of key 0 denotes uh, the first character and we can define a hash function like sky value of key 0 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 0 plus sky value of second key multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 1 plus third key multiplied by 5 square all the way up to let's say jth character is key j multiplied by 5 raised to the power of j and so on for all the other characters so you saw that uh, the hash function that we define can vary depending on different factors and one of that is data types now let's see the second component that is collision resolution but before that let's understand what is a collision so collision means mapping of different keys to the same bucket and in the last lesson also we had seen an example of that so let's say we are uh, defining hash function that is key modulo 3 so the number of buckets will be 3 and uh, its id will be 0 2 0 1 and 2 and let's say we map 10 10 modulo 3 is 1 so it goes to bucket 1 5 modulo 3 is 2 so it goes to bucket id 2 2 modulo 3 is 2 so it again goes to bucket id 2 now here you see there is a collision that means two keys are mapped to the same bucket that is bucket id 2 so this phenomenon is called collision and we need to handle it handle this case if collision doesn't occur then uh, there will be at max one key in any bucket so we don't need to handle collision but most likely collision is inevitable you cannot get rid of it there may be some simple huge cases where there is no collision but it's inevitable and you need some algorithm to handle this scenario so a collision resolution algorithm that you will define should handle the following cases so first is how you will store the data when there are multiple keys in the same bucket so you can store it uh, within the bucket you can store the keys either in array binary search tree heap or any other data structure so for example let's say you have uh, the maximum number of keys in a given bucket is uh, let's say 10 or 20 or some small number then you can simply put them in the array and you can keep appending the new value at the end of the array because when you are searching back you will first you will go to that bucket and then within that bucket you have to search in that array and it's unorganized so you can search linearly but uh, since the number of keys is not very large you can store them in a, an array and the linear search 
would be good enough but let's say the number of keys mapped to each bucket increases then it would be better to organize your data and store them in a binary search tree or a heap or any other data structure depending on your huge case now this was the first step that the collision resolution should handle how to store the data next is how to search the value in a given bucket so again that will depend on the data structure that you use to store the values and the third is that what if there are too many keys mapped to the same bucket and that is also called the load factor that is how many buckets you have and on average how many uh, keys are mapped to each bucket let's say initially you uh, had planned that you will have you had estimated that there may be let's say uh, 1000 data that you will need to store so you defined a uh, 10 buckets expecting that uh, on an average there will be uh, 100 keys mapped to each bucket so that should be fine but now let's say uh, uh, you need to store much more value your application or anything uh, that you are planning to store the data for got popular and now it you need to store uh, not 1000 but uh, let's say uh, 10,000 or 100,000 records now if you are keeping the same uh, bucket count then on an average there will be many many more keys in your each bucket so let's say you have now 10,000 keys and you have 10 buckets on average if your hash function is really good then on an average there will be 1000 keys in each bucket but if your hash function is not good uh, some buckets may have let's say 2-3000 keys some may have a smaller but you got the idea that if the number of keys in a bucket on an average is becoming higher and higher it's time to reconsider uh, your uh, algorithm and you should now increase the bucket so now maybe you can think of increasing the bucket size to 100 or even 1000 so that the load factor remains uh, lower that is there are less number of keys in each bucket so this is another problem that needs to be handled by the collision resolution algorithm now uh, this was the basic idea behind uh, designing hash table now next we will start designing a hash set and hash map